first shot. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a BRG9 Elite. Made in Turkey, imported by Buffalo Cartridge Company. Now, these were introduced at SHOT Show a couple years ago. A lot of people took notice. It very much is a budget handgun. But it has some features on there that a lot of people around here like. And, and I, I find it pretty attractive for the price. We're going to talk about the price. Let's take a look at the case. It comes with two mags, 16 round mags. There is the other one. Two additional back straps, a speed loader. And on this side, it has three bore brushes, a regular cleaning brush, a lock, patches, and some oil to keep the pistol lubricated. Now this is the bare bones model. It is becoming more and more popular as time goes by. I think the price that they are asking for it is the driving factor, although it functions really nice. I took it to the range. I did not put a lot of rounds through it, but I had no issues with it whatsoever. There's another model for 10 bucks more than this MSRP that they call two-tone. It has what looks to be a stainless slide, and I don't know if it's PVD coated, I doubt it's Cerakoted, but it's $10 more than this, and $20 more than this is a flat dark earth model. Then they have a couple more with higher capacity, they call that the Gen 2, better grip texturing, that is optic ready, and then another one that has a threaded barrel and suppressor height sights. This is the bare bones model, the MSRP on this is 250 bucks. And that is why I think it is becoming more and more attractive to various shooters. So let's get to it. I already mentioned 16 round mags. It has forward serrations there, and we'll check clear. It's a mix between a full size. You get the full size grip there, especially with the mag in there. It feels full size, but it has a four inch barrel. It has a little pick rail right there. A flat trigger that breaks right at five pounds. BRG is calling it a single action trigger. And it it feels like your standard polymer frame trigger that's a little bit lighter than the Glock, five and a half pounds. Some minor finger grooves. The grip texturing is not overly aggressive at all. It's actually quite smooth as well as the back strap has some texturing bumps on there as well as the front strap it is ambidextrous with the magazine release not the slide stop so you could drop that with your trigger finger and you notice a grip safety right here with the grip safety unengaged the slide will not activate nor will the trigger once engaged that will and the trigger will as well it is a flat trigger by the way it has that trigger safety in there but that's a flat trigger and the sights are three dot it has two in the back drift adjustable and an orange front sight additionally it has a cocked striker indicator on the rear of the slide and a loaded indicator on top that bar that sticks up overall not bad when I took it to the range I said I didn't put a lot of rounds through it but I put enough to basically function check it and like I said, it, it fed, fired, ejected everything just fine. I think if I spent some more time with it, I could have been a little more accurate, but I was not complaining for a handgun of this price. To disassemble, you just lock the slide back. You push this lever down. You are clear. Drop the slide, pull the trigger, and you can see it has a dual recoil spring, all steel guide rod, and the four inch barrel. Cleanly machined, and that's one thing that is has been consistent with a lot of the Turkish made guns. They 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 do a good job with that. We could say what we want about the politics of it all, but they they make some pretty clean handguns and shotguns. There's no doubt. Heavy frame rails, and there's a look at the frame, and then we just slide it back on and lock the slide back and push that lever forward, and there you go. Did it pass the limp wrist test? I'm so sick of this limp wrist test, but we're going to show it anyways because it is back with the BRG, BRG 9 Elite and it has been in high demand. Let's see if the BRG 9 will chamber around when forcing a mag in the magwell. And it tried to, 
but you can see the bolts right there so we will drop the mag pump that out and now it's on the ground that time it did and according to the loaded chamber indicator it chambered how about a lipris test now when we do a lipris test with the grip safety that has to be engaged so we'll go ahead and do that and a dead trigger and that's it so it passed that time another time when I was playing with it off a of camera I went to charge around and it dropped the slide but it did not charge so I'm gonna give this a solid B between a that and a B minus Let's get the BRG9 lead on the scale. The mag is inserted. You're looking at one pound, 14 and an eighth ounce. We move that to just ounces, 30 and an eighth. Here are 16 rounds for a loaded mag, 36 and seven eighths. And then we'll throw that carry around, 37 and a quarter ounces, just for reference. Here's a HK VP9. We'll throw that on there, 34 ounces even. And that's with 17 rounds. So you're looking at an additional three ounces heavier with the BRG9 Elite. So there is the BRG9 Elite. Has the grip safety on there. You're looking at $250 MSRP, $350 for optic ready, and $500 for optic ready higher capacity suppressor height sights and a threaded barrel. They priced it to sell. Right, right out of... Finley, Ohio is where it's being imported, and people are eating these up. They're saying, you know what, they shoot well, have no problem with it, it functions fine, and that's been my experiences so far, but time will tell. And I'll put a few more rounds through it, perhaps, to compare this with some other handguns and see how well it holds up. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.